welcome dear students so further moving on to the course of dynamics in this video i will discuss about the connected motion of several particles so there are many situations in which uh, particles are connected to each other and uh, they are not independent their motion are linked with other particles for example you can see in this figure the relay race which is usually conducted in athletics so in this particle of one person is related to another particle similarly you can see in this figure that uh, <clears throat> there are several pulleys and several weights and their motion are connected with each other for example the motion of c it will depend on the motion of b and motion of a so there are many situations in which the motion of the particles are connected <clears throat> so now in this slide we will discuss the rate of motion between several particles for example consider there are two particles particle a and particle b the position of particle a is x a and the position of particle b is x b relative to the origin o okay so for particles moving along the same line time should be recorded from the same starting instant and displacement should be measured from the same origin so this is the essential criteria means for both the particles or if we have more than two particles then for all the particles the origin should be same and the time instant from which we are recording the motion that should also be the same so now for this case relative position of b with respect to a will be denoted by x b a which will be equal to x b minus x a and suppose if we want to find the position of b then we can simply write it as x b is equal to x a we will take this x a towards the rhs and this term will be positive so x a plus x b slash a so similarly we can write the expression for velocity and expression uh, expression for the acceleration of particle b now consider this diagram in which several particles are dependent on each other so in this case position of b position of this block b depends on position of block a so in this type of uh, problems uh, very important thing is that this the length of this rope this will always remain same so that will help you to solve this type of problems so in this case uh, if uh, we consider the length of the rope and then from a to here the length is x a and uh, here the length is x b and that is twice because once this this and once this <clears throat> so the total length is x a plus 2 x b and that should remain constant during the entire motion okay similarly we can have uh, some more particles so here we have only one degree of freedom and in this figure there are two degrees of freedom and uh, in this case we have the length as 2 xa this one plus this one then 2 xb this one plus this one and plus xc so in this way we can write the expression for the length of the uh, rope and then this will help in solving the problem uh, now uh, this is the for the length now when we differentiate uh, this equation uh, sorry this equation then we will get the expression for velocity 
Similarly, when we differentiate the equation of velocity, then we get the equation for acceleration. So these for linearly related positions, these relations hold good. So this is very important thing. You simply write the uh, expression for the length of the rope and then you can differentiate once then you will obtain the velocity and uh, when you differentiate another time you will obtain the equation for acceleration now let us do one problem related to this connected motion so this is our problem uh, we have this collar which can move freely on this bar and then we have pulley D which can move freely on this bar and then we have block B okay so pulley D is attached to collar which is pulled down at 3 inch per second so this pulley is pulled down uh, with a speed of 3 inch per second at t is equal to 0 collar A starts moving down so when we are starting the motion, this collar starts to move downward with constant acceleration and zero velocity. So initially the velocity is zero and then it will gain some velocity. Knowing that the velocity of collar A is 12. So suppose the velocity which is obtained by A up to this uh, point L is 12 determine the change in elevation and acceleration of block B. So when this block, uh, this collar reaches L, we have to find the change in elevation of this block and acceleration of this block. Okay. So this is our problem. Now how we would proceed? First we need to define the origin. Then we will write the equations and then we will do the solution okay so now consider the motion of this uh, collar okay so first what we have did we uh, selected the top one this top portion as the origin okay so this we have selected as the <coughs> origin so this is the initial position okay and this is the final position of this collar okay so this we have denoted by x a naught and final position is denoted by x a and uh, it is has the acceleration a a and velocity when it is passing through this point is 12 inch per second okay so because this uh, collar is moving with a uniformly accelerated linear motion as we have discussed in the previous video so we can write uh, the equation uh, this equation we already know for uniformly accelerated motion v square is equal to u square plus 2 as so here the velocity is final velocity is 12 initial velocity is 0 as we already know and uh, uh, this we know x a minus x naught is given 8 okay so from this we can calculate the acceleration of this block which is 9 inch per second square <coughs> now we can write uh, another equation v is equal to u plus a t and from this we can calculate the time required by this block to reach position l now for equation for pulley d can be written like this because this pulley is moving with uniform rectilinear motion so for uniform rect uh, rectilinear motion we have only one equation that is v is equal to u plus a t sorry x is equal to x naught uh, plus v t so from this we can calculate x d minus x naught because this v we know and time we have just calculated so it's come out to be 4 inch now we'll write the equation for uh, block b so since the motion of block B is uh, interconnected with D and A, so we will write uh, motion relationship and solve for change of block B position. So here we have 
x a then we have x t and then again x t and then x b so x a plus 2 x d plus x b this will remain same so this is for initial position x a naught 2 x t naught and x b naught so we can also write this equation like this so now in this equation we have calculated this x a minus x a naught which is 8 x t minus x d naught we have just calculated which is 4 and the only unknown is x b minus x naught so this comes out to be minus 16. Now further we can differentiate this equation then we can obtain the equation for velocity and from this equation we can find the velocity of block b which comes out to be 18 inch per second and similarly we can do for acceleration we again differentiate this equation then we can get the equation for acceleration and when we put the unknowns uh, we get the acceleration is minus 9 inch per second square so this is how you can solve the problems related to connected motion of several bodies so this is all this is all for this video thank you very much thanks for watching have a nice day meet you soon in the next video